And then thank you. New Year's Eve is going to be here before we know it. So don't ring in the new year without setting yourself up for financial success, right? Going into a new decade. We have local, local financial advisor Brad Allen with us from WealthWisconsin.com and Drake and & Associates joining us with four money moves to ring in 2020 like a financial boss. That's right. So we're going to begin with number one, estimate your tax liability. Yeah, just take a look at your tax liability for the year. You know, a lot of people don't want to owe anything. They don't want to get anything back. So it's good to pull out a tax calculator and just try to figure out, you know, are you going to owe money? Because that's going to, it's good to know that ahead of time so you can prepare for that when you have to pay that money back. So uh, just do the, on our website, wealthwisconsin.com, we have one of those tax calculators. But just go on there and, and just figure out what it looks like for the year. And then make adjustments for next year. If you do owe money this year, make adjustments on the W-4 okay. and, you know, figure out what it looks like. Next because year. I do single married mm -hmm. because I don't want to owe money at the end of the year, but then you're giving the money that you could have. Right. I mean, that, that money could be in your 401k that right. you're contributing to throughout the year, especially on a year like this when the, when the market's doing very well. You want that money working as hard for you as possible. Okay. Well, that's something for me to look at. Talk to my HR. Mm -hmm. Also consider a conversion. What do you mean by that? This one's big. This is, uh, so taxes are lower today than what they have been in the past and what they will be in the future, right? So with this new tax code, uh, the 25% bracket, what was the 25 is now the 22. The, the 15 oh, is now right, the 12. Right. So mm -hmm. take advantage of the lower brackets while we have them. It only goes till 2025 and then taxes go back up. So what we're talking about here is taking money from a traditional IRA, money mm -hmm. that's tax deferred. You take it out a little bit early. You pay the taxes this year on it, but you put it into a Roth that you never have to pay another dime in taxes on. Again, a Roth is tax free for the rest of your life. So it's just trying to convert as much over from the traditional portion of mm -hmm. the IRA to the Roth. IRA and figuring out the when years. is the right time. Okay, that, yep. that's good to know. And one of the biggest things, a lot of people don't realize this, but in retirement, they are in a pretty high tax bracket in their 70s with all right. the income coming in. Oh, so okay. the more you can get money out of those accounts and into tax-free is going to help. Number three, increase your 401k contributions. I just raised it to 10%. Perfect. Yeah, 10 to 15% is usually what I recommend on a monthly basis, as much as you can put in. I mean, retirement, you think it's so far away, but it comes sooner than mm -hmm. expected for a lot of we people. We just did a, so. a story on that. Yeah. <laughs> and we're running out of time here. So number four, plan for 2020. Now's a great time to take a look at, you know, what does next year look like? How much do you want to put into your 401k? What are your ultimate goals? Are you getting close to retirement? Take a look at your risk. You don't want to have too much risk going closer and closer to retirement, especially with the market. It's been on a great run right now, but you don't know how long that's going to last. So just take a look, sit down with a financial professional, somebody that can walk you through a, a retirement plan, a financial plan, and help you out for two. And you should, you should have double, you know, the amount of what you make by 35 in your 401k, right. when really, when we did the story, it was like about 23,000 for millennials. Yeah. Generation Z, it was only $66,000 in their 401k. And then the average baby boomer had about $152,000. And that right. was not a lot. You gotta think about that compounding interest. Right. I learned a lot from you. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks You're always great. Me. Brad Allen with Drink and Associates and WealthWisconsin.com. You can go on there right now. Thank you for waking up with us. I appreciate it. We'll be right back.